yeah. I'm just using the same, really. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have filmed my last video. In fact, it's been, I think, like six to seven months since I filmed it, and I haven't worn makeup since then. So if you guys are interested, then let's get started. Um, I already did do my eyebrows. I used MAC Lingering Eyebrow Pencil, I think. Um, and then I already primed my face using the Glow Ahead uh, Illuminating Face Oil by Wonder Beauty, just to save us some time. And so now, I think I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow because, like I said, I haven't done this in a while, so... Um, I really wanted to try out some of the eyeshadow palettes that I've gotten in my BoxyCharm that I haven't even opened yet. These are all still in packaging. So I thought I would try these out because I am planning a declutter video. So I don't want to throw out anything before I actually give it a go. Oh, this is the Venus palette by Lime Crime. That's really pretty. Let's see, this is the Ace Beauty um, Nostalgia Palette. Let's see, oh, wow, these are very colorful, very tropical looking. Nice. This is the Marvelous Mauves Palette. Let's see, oh, oh, it comes with a brush. Nice. I think I tried one of the Natasha Denona palettes, but this one is the newer one that I got. And let's see, just a couple more. This Cab Cosmetics, Cab, C -A, or K A B Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. And um, this one I did look at, and it reminded me, and I kind of swatched it, as you can see. But um, it kind of reminded me of the. Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette, right? Don't you get the same vibe from both? So maybe maybe this will be a dupe. Next we have the Ciate London eyeshadow palette. Oh, the Velvet palette. This one's really cute. I like the, the packaging on this. Um, and these are very metallic, so that looks nice. And I do have a few like liquid eyeshadows that I want to try out too. So let's just get started. I'm like stalling because I'm, I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. I don't even know which one to use first. I'm just laying everything out so I can just see everything. I also got some new brushes. These are from Lavish. Maybe I'll test these out. Start off with this one. It's called Halo from the Cab eyeshadow palette. I'll list all of the details down below. If I do forget anything, just please remind me and I will definitely let you know. I am at your service. And I'm not using eyeshadow primer or anything, just to see how these perform on their own. Wow, it feels so <laughs> weird doing eyeshadow, oh my gosh. So the reason why I have been MIA for so long is because we moved across the country again. So that took up a lot of time and energy and all of my stuff was in storage for filming. Let's see, I kind of want it a little bit more Vibrant. See, ooh, well, I'll definitely go for this palette because this is extremely vibrant. I'm gonna go for raspberry with a little bit of Carnival. The two purpley shades in this palette. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is bright. I wanted this to be a little bit more of a summery look, but so far, I don't know. I'm really curious about this hot pink. So I'm gonna kind of create a gradient. I'm gonna go with flip-flops first, and then I'm gonna go into Picnic. We'll see how this turns out. Wow, that is a lot of pigment. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm definitely keeping this palette. 
so far so good anyways i do have quite a few um videos planned for you guys um i'm like i said i'm not sure if this video is going up first or i do have a well qu quite a few hauls planned for you guys and um hauls are my favorite to film they're also a lot easier to edit so i think i may post that first i'm going to film that after this but i'm going to try and film as many videos as i can today because editing takes me forever it'll just take me days because i'm very nitpicky and i say a lot of ums and uhs and so to edit all of that out takes me forever so what have you guys been up to lately i would love to hear from you guys you can of course comment on the video um dm me i'm going to start looking at my dms i get all these uh scam dms so i don't really look at my instagram dms but i will start paying attention to those if you have any requests of course please let me know that is that's very bright wow okay it's a lot brighter than what i expected but that's okay let me go into the venus one and I'm going to try and blend this out a little bit with some Dreamy and Paradise. Okay, this um, eyeshadow palette is very powdery. I think it's just that one shade, Paradise. So um, I'm going to repeat those shades on the bottom lash line. Like I said, I do have several videos. There is an Amazon haul. There is like a birthday gift haul my birthday was in march but um i like watching those videos because it always gives me a good idea on what to get for other people on their birthdays kind of like a gift guide and it is the summertime so there are going to be a lot of weddings and let's see what else do i have i have an organizational haul i love organizing and our pantry and our closet needed some desperate TLC, so I have that planned for you guys as well. I got a whole bunch of books and candles and just can't wait to share all of that with you guys. I have been reading a lot lately, which is really nice. I love reading and I forgot how much I love reading. Um, so I did get a whole bunch of books. I already started two of them. I'm reading two currently at the same time um but so far so good and i will share that with you guys soon i'm really glad i did the eyeshadow first because there is some fallout to probably tell let's try the ciate eyeshadow palette this one is so pretty this one right here go ahead and try that oh wow it's really flaky but we'll give it a try it's more like a subtle sparkle i think i'm gonna have to like foil it to get a really good pigment out of it they feel very smooth when you um swatch these but like really buttery smooth when you swatch it but i don't know on the eyes they're they're all right they kind of blend away a little bit i'm going to mix this champagne color with this color right here not as much of a pop as i wanted <laughs> but they're super like i really like the feel of them not very impressed with that so far uh, maybe if i tried them by themselves it would make more of an impact i am going to just use this ofra you glow girl highlighter this is like really big back in the day i'm just going to put that under my brow i'm just going to blend everything afterwards i need to put that in the inner corner as well oh i do have this ciate eye luster i don't know what shade this is in there's no shade name but it just says eye luster cream eyeshadow this seems very intense <gasps> wow that is whoa gonna 
try and drag it a little bit down here. I kind of want to use this as eyeliner. Let's try it out. I'm like literally holding my breath. <laughs> That's pretty though. I really like this liquid eyeshadow. The shade is like absolute perfection. This is always the nerve wracking part, trying to match the wings. Okay, wish me luck. What else can I talk to you guys about? Uh, we are moved in for the most part. We had a lot of work to do. Moving is no joke, especially during a pandemic. And when we moved, it was like literally everything was just all over the place. Things were going wrong left and right and ugh. So it took a lot longer. It's all good now <laughs> for the most part. <sighs> this is difficult for me to talk and do makeup at the same time. Usually when I do makeup, I just watch friends and zone out. So I'm sorry about the lack of chit chatting. Let's do some mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes first and I want to try out this mascara. It's called Big Ego by Tarte. I love the packaging on this. Look how bright. It's like throwing off my lighting. This is the wand. It's really good but it's too big for my bottom lashes so I'm going to use the Tarte Tartiest Lash um, Mascara. Okay, I'm going to have to reprime my face since I did wash most of it away, but well, that's okay. I'm just using the same, really, just got all over my shirt. Not much has been going on with me. I did cut my hair after nine years. Um, <laughs> I did plan on doing a video of that, but... I don't know, I, I filmed some stuff on my phone, but I don't know if anyone would be interested in seeing that. Let me know, but it is shorter now. I got it cut for my birthday in March, so it grew out a little bit, but it's just, it's nice. I like it like this. Before it was down to my butt. Now, um, when I cut it, it was like right here. So I, I like it short, it's so much easier to deal with, that's for sure. Let's see, what else is next? Foundation, let's do foundation. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and mix in this Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow in Honey. I know I said that I was going to cancel my BoxyCharm in one of my previous videos. I don't know if it was the very last video that I filmed wow everything is just exploding on me today anyways um as i was saying i know i had previously stated that i was going to cancel my boxy charm but in the middle of the move i totally forgot about my boxy charm and so it automatically renewed itself for a whole another year i mean i'm not terribly mad at it because some of this stuff is really awesome. I really, really love this Ace Beauty Nostalgia Palette. I just I haven't bought makeup like on my own ever since I got BoxyCharm. I miss going to Sephora. I have like some birthday gift cards and stuff for Sephora, but I just don't feel like going because I have so much makeup now because of BoxyCharm. <laughs> Other than dealing with the house and stuff like that, and we did do some kind of DIY home improvement stuff for the house. Um, that kept us busy for like a month straight, but other than that, uh, I've just been chilling. It's been raining like nonstop here, which I love. I love like drizzly rain and it's like all cozy and just, it feels like fall. Fall is my absolute favorite time of year. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, then you know. I think that's why I got so many candles lately. Candles and books and ugh, all of the cozy stuff. I love lighting a new candle and then starting a new book. It's the best. Concealer. Um, 
my usual combo of Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey and the Pretty Vulgar Undercover. I think it's the shade The Middle Ground. I'm just going to use this for spot concealing and this for brightening. We also just got a uh, an exercise bike. I've only ridden it like twice now because I mean you have to really get used to sitting on that horribly uncomfortable seat. I'm going to contour with this um, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced and it's in the shade Chestnut. I have not done this in so long so that so this could definitely turn out horribly it's just crazy how many steps there are I just don't remember it being this many steps so does anyone have any plans for summer are people still going to travel this year i don't know my husband really wants to travel i'm still a little bit nervous about traveling but he is he likes to be like outside and doing things i'm much more of a homebody i prefer to just be inside and just just be nice cozy warm safe you know but not my husband he gets bored real easily i keep seeing him looking up like different destinations <laughs> and each time i get more and more nervous but I do miss traveling. I, I do love traveling. It's just ugh, with all the stuff going on. Uh, I'm a little nervous. Did you guys travel anywhere? Is it as bad as I'm making it out to be in my mind? I do need y'all's help though on finding another series to watch. It really helps when y'all let me know. I usually get responses more on Instagram than on YouTube so but don't be afraid the comment section is not going to bite you <laughs> I just I love hearing about you know what you guys think and what you all like to watch and sometimes I get some great suggestions so I would greatly appreciate some help we just finished what did we just finish Oh, we just finished Big Bang Theory, and we also just finished Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I know Loki's coming out, like, soon? Or did it already come out? I don't even know. But right now, we don't have anything else on our watch list, so we're rewatching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> Love that show. Whew, that was a workout of the blending. Let me set my face with some powder. I'm going to use the Everyday Vacay Ciate setting powder. Like I said before, I have a lot of hauls, but I've noticed that although I've been shopping, um, I haven't bought clothes in like a really long time. I think I have like one or two items, but that's like, I mean, when you see it, you'll be like, really? But like actual clothing pieces, I have not bought in a long time. I just don't go anywhere. I'm just using this Wet n Wild contouring palette just to define my cheekbones and my nose a little bit more. Anyways, as I was saying, since I don't really go anywhere, I don't buy clothes really all that often. But since I do love shopping, I can't stop shopping, you know? So <laughs> I have been buying a lot of like home decor and you know stuff like that we had planned on being moved in by like before easter time that didn't happen so i have a whole bunch of easter decor that i bought but i never got to haul or show you guys or decorate my house because it was still under like construction and all that so yeah i just threw my brush I haven't even, I can't even remember the last time I've been to a mall. Wow. Which is super weird for me, for those that know me, know that like the mall was the only place that I would hang out. It was just my favorite 
place to go. There's like everything, you know, there's food, clothes, all sorts of stuff. And then you get your your daily walk in. Because <laughs> you don't notice how much you're walking around the mall. It's nice and air conditioned. Yeah, I literally have been... I mean, I, I guess it's a good thing that I'm a homebody because, you know, it's not too terrible for me. But for those people out there that are not homebodies and like all the extroverts out there, I'm so sorry. Oof. Must be really really tough all right while that's baking let me go ahead and put some falsies on these are by kiss and they're in the style shy this is my favorite style um of kiss lashes oh gosh i haven't worn falsies in forever and even when i did wear makeup um i rarely ever wore falsies so pretty nervous about this oh my gosh this just feels weird Just poked my eye with my thumb. It's not bad. <laughs> Could be worse. And also, along with those um, TV show recommendations, I would love some book recommendations. Um, right now, I'm working. One of the books that I'm working on is um, Harry Potter. I've never read the Harry Potter series before, so slowly working my way through those books. And after I read each book, I like to watch. The movie and HBO right now has like all eight of the movies available but only till the end of this month don't know why so I'm trying to read them as fast as I can but okay some blush let's use some of these I haven't used these in well ever really just like once when I got them so let me Try this one. It's by Duce and it's in RSVP. Let's just go ahead and try that blush. And I like to apply my blush like from here out. So it kind of pulls your face back a little bit. Gives you a little bit of a facelift. A little bit on the nose. And highlight. I need some highlight. I'm gonna use this one. It's in Moonstone. Oh, it's by Ciate. Wow. Okay, it looks a lot brighter on camera for some reason. Interesting. Oh my gosh, that is bright. <laughs> okay. That's intense. <sighs> and yet, I don't know why I keep adding more. I need to add some on my brow bone. Just to blend it out a little bit. Anyways, <sighs> let's see what else we can do. This is probably, I've been here for like two hours now. Let's move on to the lips, shall we? Um, I did get a few new lip products. Let's try these. These are by Saint Lux. One is in Love Letter, one is in Secret Admirer. Love Letter is a little bit lighter. Secret Admirer is really, really dark. Let's go with the Love Letter. It's a little bit more orangier than I wanted. So let me see if there's something pink that I can grab real quick. So I have two options, Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And then I have, a, let's see, I think it's a Maybelline matte lipstick in Lust, Lust for Blush. Lust for Blush. So I think I'm just gonna mix both of them. Why not? Look how cute this is, oh my gosh. Okay, um, I do want a little bit more of a nude. This is how I usually do my lips. I just mix a bunch of colors. Let's see, this is Bachi by Stila and Daringly Nude by Maybelline. Let's try those. All right, this is another new lip gloss by Mello. It's in Saint Tropez, Tropez. I don't know. I haven't been there yet. I haven't traveled there yet, but let's see. 
It's a lip gloss. That is really pretty. And last is Honeydew Lip Oil by Cab. Again, huh? This I also got from BoxyCharm. Just gonna put that in the center just for an extra juicy pout. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. I have not overdrawn my lips in so long. The Harry Potter book that I'm on is Order of the Phoenix. Uh, who is this Umbridge lady? So far she's pissing me off. Like, ugh, I'm, I'm not that far into the book, so please, no spoilers, but she is just... Ugh. If you could see how many things have dropped on the floor since filming this video. On the bright side, my table cleared up, but it's all on the floor. I still need to do my nails. I haven't done my nails in forever. Makeup. But I haven't done anything in forever, so. I think all we have left is the setting spray. This is new um, by Maven Beauty. It's their rose water setting spray. So let's try that out. All right, so I think that completes the look. Um, I'm going to fix my hair a little bit and I will be right back. So this is the final look. I went ahead and changed and even popped on some nails. Wanted everything to match. I think it turned out all right, um, other than the eyelashes popping off constantly. What else is new? Um, and me dropping literally everything on the floor. I think it turned out pretty good. I actually really like the look I created and the eyeshadows and the colors that I chose is really, really, really pretty. Um, I'm glad I got to test out those eyeshadow palettes before I decluttered. Um, there are a few hits and misses, but I'm glad I got to try those out. And let's see, I think that's it. Um, I will see you guys in my next video, so please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. And I will definitely be posting more regularly now, now that I have most of my stuff back. So, yes. And you do not want to miss out on those videos that I mentioned earlier. <sighs> Got a lot planned. Anyways, it is so good to be back and I can't wait for you guys to see what I have in store. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!